With each new release of AutoCAD comes some great improvements to the user interface. Let me just share with you a few of my favorites. So the first one, if someone doesn't show you, you may not even know it's there. And it has to do with dialog boxes that have lists in them. That's hard to say. So let me just go to the manage layer states dialog box. Now maybe you have a lot of layer states in your drawing file. If so, you are very familiar with using the dreaded slider bar, right? To go through the list of layer states. So now we can expand dialog boxes that have lists in them so we can make them nice and big. So we don't have to use the slider bar. We can just view all of the layer states in this case at one time. And the nice thing about this is that once you've expanded it, AutoCAD will remember the size of it for the next time you go into this dialog box. All right, so. Check that out, that's gonna save you some time. You will find that almost all of the dialog boxes with lists have that capability, including the insert dialog box. So now you have the ability to expand the insert dialog box so you can get a really big preview, although that's not a very exciting block to show you. Uh, let's go take a look at a different block now. Check this out. The insert dialog box now supports autocomplete. I'm gonna type in HS and it's gonna to go to, in this case, the only block that starts with HS, much better block to show you. Once again, that's so much better than using the dreaded slider bar to go find your block. I love that, that's gonna save you a lot of time as well. So insert now supports autocomplete. Love that, all right, let's get out of here. What else is new in the user interface? Well, have you ever accidentally turned off pick first? When you turn off pick first, all kinds of things don't work right. <laughs> Maybe you're a CAD manager and you have users who turn off pick first by accident. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, let me show you. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select a bunch of objects and then um, I wanna hit the delete key to delete them, right? I'm gonna go ahead and hit delete and now in the latest release of AutoCAD, you will see that it says, hey, um, uh, that's not gonna work because you, you have pick first turned off. Would you like me to turn it on for you? I love that, all right? So that's gonna help people help themselves, including yourself. So I would say, yes, I would like you to turn on pick first. And then of course, it will delete the objects that you have selected, all right? So now AutoCAD's trying to help you out, help you help, you help yourself, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> so what else has changed? Um, one more small thing that may matter to you. I know it matters to some people. Uh, we'd like to have control of our user interface, including control of our tool tips. If I move my cursor on top of a tool, it takes one second to get tooltip information and then an additional two seconds by default to get additional information about that tool, right? Once again, one second and then an additional two seconds to get additional information. So if I do a right click and I go into options down there at the command line, you will see underneath show tooltips on the display tab in options, you have the ability now to control the number of seconds for that tooltip to display. Maybe you think it's too fast, maybe you think it's too slow. It's up to you, you have complete control over that. And uh, you also have control over how long it takes before those extended tooltips show up. You can see I have it set at two seconds. All right, so that's a pretty little thing, but some of you want complete control over your user interface, and now Autodesk is handing it over to you. All right, so I think that you're gonna find uh, that this, along with many other changes inside of the latest release of AutoCAD, are gonna make your AutoCAD experience just that much better.